reaction of amyl halides that is replacement by hydroxyl group. Okay. So let's check that. Here again two types are there. We will see that before that let's check this replacement by hydroxyl group. So the halogen it is replaced by hydroxyl OH group. So what is that conversion? Okay, That is also one conversion. So that is chlorobenzene. Correct? We are talking of aryl halides. Chlorobenzene. In the presence of sodium hydroxide and in the presence of an acid, temperature is 623 Kelvin temperature, 300 atmospheric pressure. At these conditions, chlorobenzene it is converted to OH group. The Cl it is converted to OH group. Now OH attached to the benzene ring. The name of that compound is phenol. So this is also a conversion of chlorobenzene to phenol. Okay. So replacement by hydroxyl group. The chlorine it is replaced by hydroxyl group. So conversion of chlorobenzene to phenol. Now here two types of reactions are there. One is elimination addition. Okay. First one is elimination addition and addition elimination. Okay. So we will check these two reactions now. I have written three compounds over here with the conditions. We will check the products here. Easy. As I told you, replacement by hydroxyl group. So, chlorobenzene will be replaced by OH group. Correct. So, this reaction, the first one, just we will write the products first. So, Cl has to be replaced by OH group. Correct. So, NO2 will remain as it is. Correct. It is at para positions. OH will be attached here. Same way. The second one, correct, OH will come here in place of Cl replace NO2 as it is at ortho and para position. This example also, Cl will be replaced or substituted by OH. OH is what a nucleophile, right? Minus, no, OH minus. Here ortho position we have NO2, para position also NO2. Now what is NO2? NO2 it is called as EWG, electron withdrawing group. It will try to withdraw the electrons, take the electrons from the ring. It will Try to take the electrons, withdraw the electrons from the ring. So it is called as EWG that is electron withdrawing group. Correct. Okay. Now in the first reaction, you can see everywhere the condition is same. It happens in the presence of sodium hydroxide and in the presence of acid. Here also sodium hydroxide presence of an acid. Here alone no basic compound, no acidic compound. Just warm the solution in the presence of water. Fine? Okay. See the temperature here. It is more 443 Kelvin. Here it is slight less than the first reaction. 368 Kelvin. Here no temperature. Okay. So what is the reason why it is like this? So what is NO2? It is EWG. Electron withdrawing group. The presence of electron with the drawing group in the ring. The presence of electron with the drawing group in the ring will increase the reactivity. Fine. So here how many groups are there? Only one. So more temperature is needed. Correct. Right? And the product is formed. Here two NO2 groups are there. Two EWG are there. Electron with the drawing groups are there. So the temperature is less. As I told you. More the electron with the drawing groups. More will be the reactivity. Fine. Over here 3,3. 3,3 three, 
three are there, so the reactivity will be very very more. So just warm it with water, and you get the product. Correct. Right. So what we are doing here first? What are we doing here? Addition, elimination. Correct. Right? We are adding it first, and then we are eliminating. So this reactions. As I told you, replacement by hydroxyl group it has two type of reactions. So first we are adding OH and then we are removing Cl. So it is called as addition elimination reactions. Addition elimination reactions. Correct. I'll just show you one mechanism of any one of the reactions here. Hope you understood this. Remember, more the number of electron with the drawing groups, more will be the reactivity. So less conditions needed. Correct. So we'll check the mechanism of any one of this. So first example I have taken here. What we have written that is at para positions, chlorine is present, nitrite is present, NO2 is present. So let's check with the mechanism. At the para position Cl is present and NO2 is present. Now this is the nucleophile OH minus. Correct which comes from NaOH OH minus. So what we are learning is addition and then elimination. So first it is a slow step. Right. So OH will be added. OH will be added here. So addition took place. Okay. Now how to eliminate this? Before that let's see the mechanism how it takes place. So it undergoes resonance. So in resonance we know the electrons will be at ortho and para position. So I have drawn here the resonating structures. First the electrons are at ortho position. Then it comes to the para. Again it comes to ortho position. Correct. So delocalization of electrons takes place. So these are the three resonating structures what I have drawn here. Finally what happens is Cl will be removed. Correct. We are substituting. So Cl will be removed and OH will take the place of Cl. So all the three resonating structures you can draw it in one way. Just in one structure you can draw and that will be OH will be attached benzene ring OH will be attached in place of Cl here NO2 as it is you can write in the structure way or directly NO2 and Cl minus is left removed eliminated correct so that is addition elimination first we are adding then it is eliminated so see the next one that is elimination addition reaction. So we are taking an example of chlorobenzene here. Cl and H I have written that is of the benzene ring just to explain. So chlorobenzene it is treated with a strong nucleophile that is NaNH2 which is dissolved in liquid ammonia. What is NaNH2 that is soda amide. Soda amide together we are writing soda amide. Temperature maintained is 196 Kelvin. One molecule of HCl is removed. That means this H will go, this Cl will go. That is elimination, right? Elimination and then addition. So we, when we eliminate that, a triple bond is formed. So triple bond, in case of alkene, alkyne, what do we say? Alkyne. So here there is a benzene ring. So we call it as benzene. Further it is treated with ammonia NH3. I will just split it and write H and NH2. It will attach to the ring. So NH2 attached to the benzene ring is aniline. Correct. So what happened first? Elimination. HCl is removed. And then NH2 is added. So elimination and then addition. Now check this. As I told you benzene compound is formed. So this elimination addition mechanism is also called as the benzene mechanism. 
So in replacement by hydroxyl group, two reactions we said that is first one is addition elimination, second is elimination addition. Now in both this addition elimination, it has an electron with the drawing group, correct? More than number of electron with the drawing groups in the ring, more will be the reactivity. But elimination addition, you can see the electron with the drawing group is absent, right? NO2 is absent or any other electron with the drawing group is absent. If it is absent, then this reaction it will undergo in the presence of a strong nucleophile. If it is absent, it will undergo in the presence of a strong nucleophile and that is NaNH2 in liquid ammonia. So hope this mechanism is clear to you. Remember benzyme mechanism that is Ea and Ae. So that is the difference. Make a note of all the points that I said. Read it twice, you will understand.